Awesome hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of the Meron Energy Lux Seed and Unit Core set, or Unit Core, what does it say? Genesis Core, I don't know where Unit came from. But this is the special Energy Lux Seed used by Zack in the recent Gaim Gaiden 2 movie. I mean, it comes with another Genesis Core because this new form is, um a Jimba form. It's not a full-on energy rider, but it's a Jimba form. So that's kind of neat. And it's neat that it has this core. There's really nothing different about it. It's just a Genesis core. Uh, it's just kind of neat to actually have an extra one so you don't have to take it out of your Genesis driver every time you need to do a review or mess around with it or whatever. It's just a nice little bonus. Um, the box is, it's pretty neat. You got a picture of uh, Jimba Mare in there. There's the lock seat, obviously, which you can basically tell is a a repainted peach energy but still and then you got a shot of the form there on the side shot of it on the belt um, on the back some fun words um, and then just advertising at the bottom um, but yeah just nothing too spectacular but still pretty neat all right so a pretty par for the course energy lock seat in terms of look you got that clear sparkly blue plastic um, here's the design on it like I said it's just a brown um, and slightly brownish silver colored peach energy lock seed, but obviously it has different sounds. That'd be really weird if it just had peach sounds. But turn it on, and you get a Zach phrase, which is one of the unique features, which is neat about the exclusive lock seeds um, all recently, is that, especially the ones from the movies and stuff, they all have special little phrases. Of course, when you just press the top, it says Marin Energy. Obviously, um, and then he presses this little button which had various like scanning noises in the original energy lock seeds or versus noises in the originals now has a set of phrases um, So I'm just gonna cycle through them. Let's go ahead and go I believe that's pretty much all of them. It's like, it's sort of confusing because it cycles through a different one at the end. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so just... Yeah, we got them all. Okay, but that's just really neat. I think it's a neat feature to make these exclusive locks sort of unique and worth it. And plus, I like Zach. I mean, he didn't say at least it wasn't the Beat Riders. Granted, I made that up, sort of. I mean, but still. Anyway. So that is that on its own. Let's go ahead and show it in the Genesis driver as if he were transforming into a regular energy rider, which he's not, but um, let's go ahead and show it. Let me see, I'm just gonna pan the camera up just a smidge. Pan in the camera up. That's the pan in the camera up song. It's, it's pretty popular. And then, of course, you'll have the attack sound. All right, for that, now we can take him out. Okay, now we will do the sonic arrow, and then we will do the actual combination thing he used in the movie. So, let's go ahead. Alright, so that is that. Let's see if I remember which button you press. There we go. To release it. Okay, now for the actual combo used in the movie. So you got a Sengoku driver here. You just put your brand new Genesis core on there, although it's kind of used in the movie. Is this thing on? 
There we go. Okay, just making sure it was on. Okay, so then take this lock seed, obviously, and then get your standard Kurumi lock seed. And we're going to put them both on. And here we go. Alright, so transformation noises, and then obviously you have the three different attacks. Alright, and that's neat. And obviously, uh, if you want to, you can do another lock seed here. You could do orange instead of the Kurumi's obviously the one he's going to be using, but you can mix and match that however you want. I was going to say, you can even do a different lock seed for this one, which is true, but then what's the point of that for this review? Like, now, for this review of this, let's show what it looks like with Lemon uh, and this one. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, it. Pretty much par for the course lock seed stuff. Um, it's still funny, I've mentioned this previously, but it's still funny that uh, we're, what, maybe almost a quarter of the way into Ghosts, which is two series after Gaim, and I'm still reviewing Gaim merchandise. Um, but overall, this is a fun lock seed. If you're a fan of, of uh, Zack and a fan of the movie and the lock seed, it's just as fun as the other lock seeds. Uh, it does all the same functionalities. Uh, I really like that you get another Genesis core, so you can do the uh, the mode without having to pull out your Genesis core every time. Um, and I also really like, especially with these lock seeds, that you get uh, special little phrases. So yeah, if you're a Zack fan, I can recommend it, and I can also recommend it if you want an extra Genesis core. But anyway, until next time, make sure you check out the crazy podcast at writersrangersrambles.com. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, Dawson Ryder, signing out.